In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use if this then that or IFTTT to scrape what people are tweeting at a certain location to a spreadsheet. IFTTT is a web service that connects different tools on the web. By choosing triggers, you can designate actions. You will be able to track what people are tweeting on a certain location anywhere in the world. This is our trigger. And save that information on a spreadsheet on your Google Drive. This is our action. You can use the same procedure to track a hashtag on Twitter or any kind of search. It's really easy and you don't need to know any kind of programming. Let's open your favorite browser. I'm using Chrome. And go to the address ifttt.com. You will need to create an account. Click on the Sign Up button on the top right corner. Type in your email and choose a password. Click Create Account. You will be greeted by a small tutorial showing how to use IFTTT. Select three channels, Twitter, Google Drive, and Feed. Click on My Recipes and let's create a recipe. Click on this and select the Twitter channel. You will need to enter your Twitter credentials. If you don't have a Twitter account, you have to create one. Now let's select our trigger. We're looking for new tweet by anyone in area. Select the region in the world you want to track. Public tweets or tweets that are visible to your account will be included in this search. I want tweets in Syria. Now let's save those tweets in a Google spreadsheet. Click on that and select the Google Drive channel. Click on Connect and enter your Google credentials. If you don't have a Google account, you'll need to create one. Continue to the next step and select Add Role to Spreadsheet. Give a name to your spreadsheet. You can also format the row on your spreadsheet, selecting the information you want to extract. The standard row will be like this. First column will display when the tweet was created, then the username, followed by the actual content, and then a link to the tweet. You can edit how your row will look like. IFTTT gives us a few options that they call ingredients, and you can add them by clicking here. Columns are separated by three pipes. Lastly, enter the path on your Google Drive where your spreadsheet will be saved. We can now create the action. Now, give a name to your new recipe. And you're done. Wait a few moments and check Google Drive later to see your spreadsheet being populated. You can use the same step to create a recipe that tracks tweets based on a Twitter search, like a hashtag.